expose an article about Harvey yeah. Weinstein and a bunch of um, accusations of sexual misconduct with different people. Um, and Ashley Judd was probably the famous name that people had heard of. And there were Rose McGowan was another person who came out. And um, this, what, what struck you if you read the article was the name, some names weren't even in there. They were just people who didn't want to give their name. But the stories were very similar, yeah. just different people in the in the roles of that and um there was, famously meryl streep gave a speech when she won one of her oscars and she called harvey weinstein basically god he says i want to thank god, god. Harvey, harvey weinstein, weinstein. yeah but and, he ha he has been a that kind of a powerhouse in hollywood for so long well, she just came out with a statement a twitter statement and um she said this to the huffington post she described him she said the news as disgraceful and added one thing can't be clarified not everybody knew but her, her state not everybody knew so her statement by the way was much more elaborate yeah and she went on to talk about um, you know that these women are heroes the women who came out and and raised their voices were heroes yeah well you know I, I in full disclosure I've been friends with Harvey for 30 well whenever Pulp Fiction came out I don't mm -hmm. know was that the early 90s you guys sometime around then so and he's always been fantastic to me, mm -hmm. just great. And and so I had I never saw any of this. I'm not saying it didn't happen. I'm just saying I know a different man, just like I did with Bill Cosby. So it's it's very upsetting to me on pers on a personal level because this is a man I consider a friend, and I feel for his family and I feel for him. It's also upsetting to me as a woman that if this kind of behavior is real, it's and, and nobody thinks it's ever going to catch up with them. You know, uh, he issued a statement that I think is. You know, we have to share in, in fairness. He says, I appreciate the way I've behaved with colleagues in the past has caused a lot of pain. And I sincerely apologize for it. Though I'm trying to do better, I know I have a long way to go. Today, uh, yeah. yeah. Today there was a journalist who worked for Long Island 12. Her name is Lauren Savon. And we haven't really seen anyone on television talking about the accusations. We've read some accounts and different things. So for the first time on Megyn Kelly's show, just yeah. before ours, she, she talked about an encounter she had with Weinstein. She said it was downstairs in one of her restaurants. And here's what she had to say. And he blocked the entrance or exit for me and said, well, then, just stand there and be quiet. And that's when I realized, oh. Did you know what was about to happen? No idea. No idea. I was completely shocked. And yet, what is going to happen? Like, stand up and stand there and be quiet. I had no idea what was going to happen. And, and it, it happened <laughs> very quickly. And what? he immediately um, exposed himself and, you know, began pleasuring himself. And I just stood there. Dumbfounded. What are you thinking in this moment? I was so shocked. I could not believe what I was witnessing. Okay. It, I was, I've been in this business and uh, early, early, early on in my career out in Los Angeles, um, a producer called me. I knew who he was. And he said, I just saw you on something. I think you're going to have a big career. I'd like, I'd like to meet with you and talk about, you know, managing you. And I said, I was like excited, yeah, you know, sure. and I went, OK, I said, I'll come to your office. He said, well, that's under construction. I'm working from home right now. So will you mind coming to my house? Yeah, I had no reason to think not. I didn't know the man personally. Right. I just knew of him. I get to the house and, and the exact same thing happened to me. Hmm. Exact same thing. And I, I learned from that boy. I, I felt grateful. I got out of there without being yeah. raped. Yeah. You know, that's what you feel like. It's all right. It was just that I can live through that. But you're so demeaned. Mm -hmm. You're so, you feel so dirty. You feel more than anything, you know what you feel? Mm -hmm. Stupid. Mm -hmm. I just Used. thought, Kathy, yeah. you idiot. Yeah. Never go to somebody's house. Now it can happen in somebody's office too, but I was, I think I must have been 21 years old. So don't you, oh, by the way, we did reach out to uh, Harvey Weinstein for those claims, Savant's claims. We didn't hear back. Yeah. But sometimes you think in our business, like for Harvey Weinstein aside, yeah. Roger Ailes aside, like yeah, all these all people aside, yeah, aside, but, aside, but even if you put all them aside, I bet you in our industry and in lots of industries, there are like every woman has some kind of a story, whether yes. it was a news director and you didn't want to say anything because, you know, if you said something, you would get labeled as the one who, you know, the troublemaker, the troublemaker somehow. Yep. Yep. And yep. so women keep quiet. And, you know, what cures that is women bosses. Women bosses cures that problem because 
you know, it's, there's like a Although voice Although we've heard club. stories of, of, of sexual harassment by women bosses, right, too. It's, but, it's, it's obviously right, it's, less prominent. Yeah, right. right. It's just a different kind of thing. Yeah, it's just, it's just makes you feel ugly and, yeah. and, and dirty just to even be talking about it. It's just, uh, I don't think, here's, here's the thing. It's not going to change anything. People are going to continue to, to act this way and I act think, out this way, maybe for a week. They're going to, you know, I keep, keep see, it in I the think, pants. I, I don't know. I think the more women who are in charge, like the more we see climbing up the ladder, yeah. the more who are in charge, those kind of cultures don't exist. They can't exist in that environment. They usually don't with women in charge. And we have, you know, or we have a lot of great women who are in charge here. And you think about like that stuff. Just yeah, yeah, I don't know. Happen. Anyway, do you anyway, think his, his career is completely finished? I, don't, and, I mean, I don't know. He was fired from his own company. I don't know. What do you think? I, I mean, don't you know. know. Yeah. I'm all about redemption in my life, but anyway. Yeah.